Before we get into the details of some of these methods, what I'm going to do is show you the rest of game.java that I've written. Well, I didn't really write anything in the reshuffle method, uh, but I did write a comment, makes a new deck, shuffles it, and deals all of it to the draw pile. Here's the get bet, gets player's bet from the keyboard, ensures it is between minimum bet and the player's money, so you don't want to let them bet too, more than they have. Display state. Now what this does, it'll print the first player. Remember there's the implied to string that's called here. Uh, and I did modify the two string of player because you're going to want to see, let's see, I like to see the bet and the money that they have and the total and the hand. So I wanted to see all that. And I think I even put, sometimes I put the name in front of it. So I have lots of methods for the player similar to the two string method that can give me different things. And we'll go over that when we get into the player class. Now for the dealer, you don't want to print out the entire dealer's hand because then the players would have a huge advantage. I would definitely go to that casino. The dealer's only supposed to show one card and this method, it's a player method because it goes dealer dot, which this is a player, and this just displays the top card. You can see it in the output right here. So the dealer only is showing a king of spades and I just put two asterisks in their second card so that I don't know what their second card is. So it's similar to the two string of the player, except it only shows one card in their hand. Later on, when the dealer takes their turn, here's the dealer. On the dealer's turn, they reveal their cards. Now this dealer didn't take a hit because they had a 20, but somewhere down here, dealer had a 14, and then hit a five and has 19. So on the dealer's turn, you display very similar to what you display with the player, except you don't ask, do you want to hit or stand? The dealer does it automatically based on uh, if they have 17 or more. I wrote a display hidden state. This is not something you would use in the real game because if you look what it does, it displays the player, and I wrote a display method that basically gives you all the information, it, their whole hand and their money. Uh, then I displayed the dealer, which shows the whole dealer's hand. I was having trouble with uh, getting cards from my draw pile to the two players, the one and the dealer. So I also put display the draw pile here as well. Now, I think I had to write this display method. So this way I can see exactly where the cards are this was very helpful when I was dealing. Is done just returns if the one player's money, so there's a get money method, uh, is less than the minimum bet, you can't bet anymore. So you have to leave. So that's how you determine if it's done if you have less money than the minimum bet. Now in real life, you can go to the ATM and come right back. Um, not always the best idea, but in this world, you only get your initial money and then the game's over. All right, this pause method is a little bit weird. So what I wanted to do is pause the game at certain times. And one time I did it is during these uh, dots and this will make more sense. I'll make a video where I actually run my complete version and you'll see where the pauses occur and it makes it feel like the computer is actually thinking, even though it only takes a fraction of a second for it to think. Don't worry about how or what I'm doing in here. Just believe that it works and this will go for this number of seconds. So typically I'm pausing for one second, sometimes a half second, sometimes two seconds. Uh, but this is the actual code that pauses it. I have to flush the buffer if you want all of your print statements to show up before you pause. So that's why I have this flush here. Uh, I don't want to get too much into buffers, but basically when, whenever you do uh, any print method, it doesn't necessarily instantly print to the screen it schedules 
a print to the screen. And this flush takes all the scheduled prints and pushes them to the screen immediately. This delay dots, you'll see this in the uh, running of the game, but it basically allows me to print four dots slowly instead of all at one time. So it really feels like the computer's thinking. And I did that to right here when it compares right before it decides the player wins or loses, it compares, it says comparing to players. So it's sort of like a loading screen. So those are all the methods that I gave you. And we'll talk more details next.